What's going on guys, Moto AK47. This video is going to be on loading your commercial mower onto the bed of your truck, all right? So, first things first, you gotta have a truck, all right? Like I said, you gotta put money back into your business. You gotta go out, your, go, go out and get yourself a truck, okay? All right, for me, this is what I work out of. I don't need a trailer at the moment. And if I do, I have no someone, my father, who has a trailer if I ever need to start trailering. All right, but for me and what I do and the amount of clients that I have, I don't need a trailer. All right, so I can fit everything I need in the bed of my truck. So second thing, all right, you gotta have your ramps, okay? These I got from Harbor Freight. I got them on sale. They're uh, 1,200 weight, their weight limit. These are what I started out with. They're from Harbor Freight as well, but this was what I was using on my starter kit, my accessories, and my uh, Toro. All right, for if you haven't seen those videos, make sure you go watch those videos. If you're new to uh, landscaping or if you just want to make your side money hustle, uh, over the weekend or whatever so make sure you go watch those videos if you're one of those people but if you're still moving up in the world and you've got your commercial mower now from putting money back into your business um, now is where the step where you're gonna wonder how to get a commercial mower onto the bed of your truck all right or if you've already acquired a trailer you're gonna want to trailer it but for me in this video, if you're in the same boat I'm in and you just got your truck and you don't want a trailer, all right, or this is what you need, all right, so you got your ramps, all right, you want to make sure, this is a mistake I made when I first got uh, or first started ramping, is I never locked any of my ramp chains down, and one time I dropped one of my mowers, okay, because of one of the ramps fell I was going up all right and then I came back down to come back down and this side fell okay and my mower was falling back and I had to pick it up back on its side and get this back up here and then from that day on I always chain these things up now but these I bent these because the wheels catch on the side of here so I bent these down with the hammer that's why they look like that and I took some of the screws out but to lock these up these come with a chain all right for me and what I do it's fine for me and it works I just latch on here to my uh, latches for my tailgate all right put those in the furthest hole that they'll go down to and stretch to all right So now it looks just like that. So once the weight of the mower catches on to your ramps, it'll pull and those chains will be tight and they won't go anywhere, all right? Your ramps will stay here, all right? So now go over to the mower. Start your mower. your ramps on up into the bed of your truck and for me what guys what I have I have a remember regular truck stand, standard bed not a short bed not a long bed just a regular and I have a 48 inch walk behind okay so I measured before I got this mower just to make sure that it was going to fit and that's the fitment right there if you can see that it's kind of tight but it's got just a little bit of space. So that's perfect for uh, 
putting it in your truck. So a 48 inch will work in the bed of a truck. For mine, I can close my tailgate even with my lawn striper on there. And that's pretty much it guys on how you uh, load your commercial mower onto the bed of your truck. All right, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Make sure you guys go subscribe to the channel. We got a lot more videos coming out. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.